Hi, welcome to a Fusion 360 video tutorial. Now the rotary switch in Fusion 360, a basic surface exercise and done with sketches. So let's have fun with Fusion 360. Okay, let's start with a sketch on the XY plane. I need a line length might be 50 and the angle might be in this case 90 plus 6 so it's 96 okay now let's align this point with that point here horizontal and give it a distance of 60 millimeters no sorry Distance 60 milli. Come on. Okay. Finish this sketch. Then another sketch on the same plane. This will be a center point arc. Maybe like that. And add an angle of 70 degrees the distance in this direction should be 30 and in that direction it should be 50 the radius of this one should be 20 now I need to dimension the axis and that line here and that angle should be 10 degrees finish this sketch now the last sketch would be on the y z plane again a center point arc that's the center and it should start up there and go up to this point and the radius should be 64 let's check if it's not that's not constrained and this one not also so let's go for a horizontal constraint and here for a vertical constraint it's already there finish this sketch and now I can begin to make my surfaces. So let's go for extrude with this one here. In that direction and that might be 60 millimeters. Confirm. And I want to reverse the normal of that surface like that. Confirm. Now I want to extend that surface. So go to extend select the edge and it should be tangent yes and the distance might be 40 confirm then another extend with this edge and again 40 millimeter confirm then I need another extrude here and this should be 60 millimeters again confirm and a revolve the with this one and the axis should be the set axis so that's the profile and the axis should be the set axis this one but it doesn't doesn't select this one so I want to go for an axis and that we would be one created by two planes with the XY and the YZ plane confirm and I will use this axis as the axis for the revolve so go for the revolve once more 
select this one, go to the axis, and go for 90 degrees and confirm. And now I have to trim. Sadly, the trim tool is kind of limited, similar to Inventor, so I have to do it in more than one step. So let's go to Trim, select the tool. Let's start with yeah, this one, and then remove this surface and that surface, and no, and confirm. Then repeat. Now the trim tool might be this one. So let's remove this surface and if possible this one here. Confirm. And now use as trim tool this surface and remove that part and this one here. And confirm. Two bodies, three bodies, so let's stitch them together, confirm, and now mirror it, it would be create, yes, mirror, I want to mirror a body, yes, this body, and the mirror plane would be this one here, and this one and join them and confirm. Now let's go for the fillet with variable radius. Go for a fillet. Make it a variable. Select the edge here and it should be 10 millimeter at the start, 10 millimeter at the end then select another point here the midpoint and give that one a radius of 20 millimeters okay then go for another fillet not a variable one but a constant one on this edge here five millimeter and that edge over there, so go for a plus and select this one and again 5 millimeter. Now a last mirror, go to create, go to mirror, select this body, select that plane here, and this one here, make it a join and confirm and I'm done. So I hope you enjoyed this one, hope it was helpful. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You could also follow me on Facebook, GrabCat, Instagram and many more. Thanks for watching, see you to the next one, bye bye.